Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, FCS football, another week has passed. We have a lot of things to go over because there was a lot that happened in between my preview and this weekend. Now, um, I did not know that there was not going to be any games on Sunday, so I could have made the um, recap yesterday. So there's that. Um, but that's neither here nor there. We're recapping it right now. And the first thing we got to get off our chest here is that the MEAC has somehow gotten themselves an automatic bid. They appealed it to the NCAA and stuff like that. And somehow the conference that opted out of the season, remember, six of the nine teams opt out of the season. Opt out can't play there's no conference games and the three that are left don't even have three wins you know the you know the three that are left that they have a couple wins you know some teams have a couple wins some teams don't and uh, you know all sorts of bizarreness whatnot going on in regards to that Maybe it's a reward to to MEAC for, you know, getting together and actually trying to play some games, or rather the teams that were able to get together and play some games. This feels like a reward, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it didn't even want this bid. Remember, they opted out of the season back in February, and it just doesn't make any sense now. It doesn't make any sense. You know, we could have had, you know, you know, the ten automatic bids like usual, and then, you know, only six teams that are um, at large bids. So I don't know about that. I don't know. Like I don't know. But there's another thing that came out which was during the middle of a baseball game, my I add. It was during the middle of a baseball game, which makes absolutely 100% no sense. So we got the top 10 rankings for the, um, the playoff committee's top 10 for right now. Now, of course, things have changed since then, but James Madison was the number one team, followed by North Dakota State, South Dakota State, Sam Houston, North Dakota, Weber State, Delaware, the surprising VMI, UC Davis, Murray State. Now, you know, there is also the fact the selection show will be at 10.30, you know, Central Time, 11.30 Eastern on ESPNU on the, on the 18th of April. And unfortunately, again, the NCAA website has confirmed it. It's been confirmed already, again, that there will be 11 automatic bids and five at large bids, so and apparently all the games will be televised on ESPN. So I, I, I hope that all the playoff games are actually going to be on ESPN, so that we can you know you know get it, get it all going and stuff like that. You know, of course, the national championship will be on ABC, and a semifinal will also be on ABC as well. So there's that. And as we get to the actual games themselves here, um, Idaho State with a huge victory against Idaho. They won by two points. I'm going to watch this Idaho team next weekend, hopefully. Um, Pluto TV, of course, you know, for that. And, um, you know, the Southland is looking pretty nice. You know, teams are still scoring at will in the Southland, you know, Southeast Louisiana put up 42 points, and I mean, Austin P. you know, speaking of, you know, Murray State, they lost to Austin P. a huge, huge victory for the Governors, a huge victory, San Diego's 39 game win streak, that got snapped by Davidson as well, um, Again, South Carolina State, team for the MEAC, team that could potentially, you know, have a playoff bid somewhere, maybe potentially in there. They beat Alabama State. You know, again, a big time victory there. Uh, 
um, Jacksonville State got a huge victory against Eastern Illinois. They keep on moving and grooving in the OVC. Um, what else? What else is there? Oh, yeah, games were canceled again. So more games got canceled this weekend as well. Um, so, yeah, there wasn't a lot. You know, and speaking of BMI, they took an L as well to East Tennessee State. So now we take a look now at the standings in some of these conferences. Now, Weber State and Eastern Washington, they are battling potential again, they are battling potentially for, you know, a top spot in the in the conference. <clears throat> and, you know, there are other teams that are still looking in there as well. The Big South, you know, Kennesaw State, Monmouth, you know, those two teams, they're looking like the best of the bunch there in the CAA. Could either be Delaware, we could see Delaware, and we could see Richmond or James Madison. Now, all three of these teams are undefeated. All three of these teams have games to play, you know, left. Of course, James Madison's had games postponed or canceled outright. In the past couple of weeks, so who knows? Maybe you know things could go interesting either way. Um, uh, Missouri Valley, the fact the MIAC has a bit now, you know, potentially takes away, you know, one or two, you know, just one bid at least, at least one bid from the conference, you know. This is a, again, this has been a very strong conference. Missouri State's come out of nowhere. They're 4-1 in conference play. San, I almost said San Diego. South Dakota State, still 4-1. North Dakota State, still 4-1. North Dakota, the Fighting Hawks, still 4-1 in conference play. And now with a couple weeks left in the season, things are getting interesting. And we all know what the Northeast is doing right now. It'll be Duquesne. At Sacred Heart in the in the NEC Championship on April 11th, that'll be on ESPN3, I believe. Um, yeah, so there's that again. Murray State and Jacksonville State are fighting it out for a piece of that conference crown in the OVC. Now, this could be a two-bit league as well. Of course, Austin Peay might have something to say about that. They're four and two. They just again, they just beat Murray State. So, you know, things are be interesting there. Patriot League, now there is supposed to be a Patriot League championship on April the 17th. There's still some time to go there. Could be Holy Cross, Bucknell, but you never know. Again, there's only a couple games left of the season, you know, potentially. Who knows how who knows how these games will get affected even more. But we could be seeing Holy Cross and Bucknell things, you know, go the way they go. Pioneer League, Davidson. 4-0 with conference play. But Valpo, San Diego, and Presbyterian are right behind them there. Gonna be interesting to see how things play out. You know, there's only again, there's a couple games left for a bunch of these teams in conference play within the next couple weeks. Now, of course, games get canceled at any time, so there's that. Um, the Southland, I mean not the Southland, the Southern Conference. Yeah, it's looking interesting now. <sighs> it's looking very interesting. VMI, East Tennessee State, that is going to be very fun. Mercer, of course, is also in the mix of things. You know, they have two losses. We all know Chattanooga, you know, they opted out and stuff like that. So things are getting interesting in the Southern Conference. This could potentially be a two-bit league as well. Very strong conference this year. Uh, the Southland, also pretty strong, you know, this year. Sam Houston, 4-0 in conference play. Incarnate Word, 3-1. Nickel State, 3-1. Southeast Louisiana, 3-2, though. But, you know, I mean, again, there's just, it's a pretty good conference right now. It's a pretty good conference. This is one of those conferences that I can also see two bids, you know, coming from it. And meanwhile, last but not least, we have the SWAC, which doesn't play in the FCS playoffs. So, there's no reason to talk about it like that. Um, but there's still some games left until, you know, we get to the championship game on May the 1st. You know, Jackson State, they are 
technically, you know, in the league in the SWAC East. At least that's what I see right now. Although Alabama State, you know, got a big victory against them. And in the West, it could be Arkansas Pine Bluff, maybe Prairie View. But it's not gonna be Jack it's not gonna be Grambling this time, so it's not gonna be Grambling at all. So we could be seeing somebody new in the SWAC West, you know, because we've had, you know, Southern and Grambling for years now in in the SWAC West representing, you know, for the SWAC tournament. At, I mean not the tournament, the championship game. And Alcord State has been to like five straight championships, so it's good to see somebody new. You know, again, Alcorn opted out already. So the fact that we only have five bids, you know, for at-large teams this time around makes things really, really critical. And with next week's slate, it is going to get even more interesting. Now, of course, games can change on the fly. You never know. With that, we got a plenty of stuff going on for Saturday, April the 10th, and Sunday, April the 11th. So... It's going to be interesting to see how things go. I am going to be watching, you know, at least one game, maybe two, hopefully this time, because, you know, last week it was kind of rough trying to get some games on. Again, there are some big games going on next weekend. So, with that being said, everybody, I will see you very, very soon for that national championship recap in college basketball. The, the top two teams of the country playing tonight. So, see you then.